during these days of pandemic, um, a lot of you have been watching and listening to the Holy Mass on TV. And um, you might not know a lot of things that the priest does before Mass, the preparation that goes into Mass. And this is our Friary Chapel here. So this is where we say our prayers in the morning. And we do offer Mass sometimes in this chapel, but we leave this chapel pretty much open uh, for the friars to pray uh, throughout the day. And this here is our private Mass chapel. And we have an altar set up here for the, the ordinary form of the Mass and also for the extraordinary form of the Mass. Some of our priests offer the extraordinary form of the Mass of the Missal of 1962. So first of all, we, we, we wash our hands. So there's a prayer, Give virtue, O Lord, unto my hands, that every stain may be wiped away, that I may be enabled to serve thee without defilement of mind and body. So the priest washes his hands, and this is an act of, to remind him that he's going in to celebrate the sacred mysteries. The amethyst is the helmet of salvation. St. Paul says, that we are, the, we are to put on the armor of salvation. It's like Christ has already won the battle and we enter into the battle that he's already won. Place, O Lord, the helmet of salvation upon my head that I may overcome the, the assaults of the devil. And the next vestment is the alb. Cleanse me, O Lord, and purify my heart that being made white in the blood of a lamb, I may have the fruition of everlasting joys. The alb also represents a sanctifying grace that each one of us have received in baptism. So the alb, the white, is to symbolize our Christian dignity, our baptism. So we put on the cincture next. So gird the loins of your understanding, live soberly, set all your hope on the gift to be conferred on you when Jesus Christ appears. And the next vesture is the stole, and it represents the authority of the priest, the authority of Christ that the priest has. And every liturgical season has different colors. So during Easter, we wear white. During Lent and Advent, the priest would wear different uh, colors, such as violet. But we wear white for Easter. And during a Martyr's Day, we would wear red. And on festive solemnity days, we wear gold and ordinary time is obviously green. The next vestment is the chasuble, and the chasuble represents the yoke of Christ. So St. Paul says that, that everything is to be covered with love. Everything is to be covered with charity, and that love is what binds up all the other virtues. And after I have the vestment, someone I'll take um, the wine and the water out to the altar. So when the, the Mass is celebrated, it's an act of divine worship, and Jesus Christ and His sacrifice is being made present on the altar in the Mass. And that when we pray the Mass, all people are present. Those in heaven, the church triumphant, those in purgatory, the church suffering, and also the church militant. So You'll see that in the prayers, when you listen to the prayers at Mass next time, listen attentively because you, you'll, you'll recognize yourself being prayed for. Every priest prays for the whole church in the Mass. And we also pray for a particular intention. Father, my purpose is to celebrate Mass and make present the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the rite of the Holy Roman Church. To the praise of the whole church triumphant in heaven, for my own welfare and that of the whole church militant on earth, and for all who in general and in particular have commended themselves to my prayers, and for the well-being of the Holy Roman Church. We usually use a chalice veil too that matches the chasuble, in this case white, and everything sacred is usually veiled. So I usually say a prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful 
and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Spirit to be truly wise, and ever to rejoice in his consolation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Joseph, pray for us. So after Mass, we put away the vestments and the vessels. Again, everything in the Mass is sacred. Uh, all the vestments, the colors, uh, the linens um, are meant to be sacred, are meant to be set apart for sacred use. And so af after we celebrate Mass, we would take, take the, the linens that we used during Mass, and we put them in a aquarium here where we have all the, all the used, soiled linens and they're being soaked in water. And we, we put them in there to let them soak. And then we'll, we'll take these down and they'll be, they'll be cleaned and the water usually will be poured down this aquarium. This aquarium has, goes directly to the ground. So this aquarium is, is also comes from the word sacred. So these vessels are cleaned and then we'll get these ready for next time for when I celebrate mass up here. I guess the main um, kind of catechesis that we wanted to get get through that we wanted to share with you all is that when we celebrate mass we don't wear just ordinary clothes uh, we wear sacred clothes and those clothes are meant to remind us of Christ the sacred character of Christ that that we as priests those who, we who are ordained in his name and to act in his name so the action of Christ the action of the liturgy is his action is done in persona Christi Capitis, in the person of Christ, the high priest. And that as a priest, these vestments that I wear, every, everything that a priest wears and puts on is meant to remind him of this sacred action, that it's the action of Christ in the person of Christ, the high priest, that we offer this for you. We offer this for the faithful. We offer the sacrifice, the unbloody sacrifice of Christ re represented on the altar for, for the faithful, not just for ourselves, but we offer it for you and with you. Every Mass at EWTN that is done on TV is offered for all of our viewers, all of our listeners, all of our benefactors, all of our donors, those network employees, their families, and their friends. We give you thanks this day, and we thank you for listening. We ask you to like us. We ask you to share this page. We ask you to subscribe to our Franciscan Missionaries Facebook page, uh, to like that page, and also to subscribe to our YouTube page and all of our other uh, media. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.